Welcome students to online classes of mathematics for class 9th. In this video, we are studying the chapter number 2 which is the polynomials of NCRT textbook. I will try to cover the exercise 2.5 and this is our part number 2 for the exercise 2.5. In part 1, we have already covered the all the algebraic uh, verification of all the algebraic identities and the first 5 question and also the question number 9 of the exercise 2.5. In this video, we try to cover the remaining question of the exercise 2.5 and this is the session number 6 for this particular chapter myself Deepak Gautam teacher in mathematics in Kendri Vidyale Sangatam so let's start with today's class the chapter number 2 polynomial is divided into total 6 subtopics which are listed here out of which we have covered the first 5 subtopics in the previous session and in this video we are studying the algebraic identities okay so I have listed all the 10 algebra algebraic identity identities that you have in this chapter and we have also done the verification of all the ident identity in the part 1 of this exercise 2.5 okay now let's start with the remaining question of the exercise 2.6 2.5 okay we'll start with the question number 6 we have first question write the following cubes in expanded form okay let's try this answer answer number 6 part 1 we have 2x plus 1 cube and we have to expand it we can expand it by using the identity so you have to, to write at the identity first so write using identity we'll use the identity x plus y whole cube which is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3 x square y and 3x5 squared okay let's solve this now that is we have 2x plus 1 whole cube this is equals to here x is 2x and y is 1 okay x is 2x and y is equals to 1 so we'll write it as x cube x big cube means 2x whole cube then we have y cube y cube means one whole cube then plus 3x square x here is 2x whole square and y y is 1 then we have 3x pi square that means 3x is again 2x and y is 1 square now solve this this 2x whole cube will be 8x cube 1 cube is again 1 then we have plus this 2x whole square will be 4x square and 4x square into 3 will be 12x square into 1 is again 12x square then we have plus <coughs> this 1 square is 1 then we have 3 into 2x will be 6x okay so that's the answer of this x question number 6 part 1 okay Similarly, we'll solve the remaining parts. Second part of this question is we have 2a minus 3b cube. Okay. Again, we'll do the same thing. This time using the different identity that is using identity. This time we'll use x minus y whole cube which is equals to x cube minus y cube then we have minus 3 x square y and plus 3 x y square okay this are identity number 7 which is x cube minus y cube then we have minus 3 x square y then plus 3 x y square okay so this will be that is we have 2 a minus 3 b cube this is will be equals to now here x here is 2 a and y is 3 b okay x is 2 a y is 3 b, 3 b so I'll write x cube x here is 2 a cube then we have minus y cube y here is 3b cube and we have minus 3x square y x is again 2a square and y is 3b then we have plus 3x y square x is again 
2a and y is 3b whole square now solve this 2a whole cube will be 8a cube then we have minus 3b whole cube will be 3 cube is 27 b cube then we have minus this 2a whole square will be 4a square 4 into 3 is 12 12 into 3 is 36 a square b then we have this 3 x 3 b whole square will be 9 b square 9 into 2 is 18 18 into 3 is 54 a b square so that's the solution of this identity that is 8 a cube minus 27 b cube minus 36 a square b plus 54 a b square similarly we have the next part of this exercise which is we have 3 by 2 x plus 1 whole cube we have 3 by 2 x plus 1 whole cube okay now this time we'll use the identity x plus y whole cube so write using identity x plus y whole cube which is equals to again x cube plus we can write the y cube in the end then it will be 3x square y and plus 3x y square okay first 3 into square of x then into y and then 3 into x into y square so I'll write that is we have 3 by 2 x plus 1 whole cube will be equal to here x is 3 by 2 x and y is 1 so we have we have x cube that means 3 by 2 x cube then we have plus 3x square y that means 3x square is again 3x by 2 into y is 1 then we have 3x y square that means 3x is again 3x by 2 y is 1 square then we have plus y cube that means 1 cube so after solving the 8 you will get this 3 cube is 27 2 cube is 8 and x whole cube will be x cube here we have 3 into 3 will be 9x by 2 into 1 is again 9x by 2 then we have this 1 square will be okay it should be square here okay so this will be first 3x square will be 3x square by 2 will be 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 3 is 27 and the 2 square is 4 and we have x square okay then we have plus this one square is 1 into this 3 into 3 will be 9x by 2 and in the end we have 1 cube is equals to again 1 so the answer of this one is 27 by 8 x cube plus 27 by 4 x square then 9 by 2 x plus 1 okay similarly now we'll solve the fourth part of this question which is we have x minus 2 by 3 y we have x minus 2 by 3 y whole cube okay again we'll use our same identity which is x minus y whole cube so right using identity x minus y whole cube which is equals to x cube minus y cube then we have minus 3x square y and plus 3x y square okay so this is identity number 7 okay so write that is we have x minus 2 by 3y whole cube equals to first we have x cube x is here x and y is 2 by 3y so x cube means x whole cube then we have minus 3x square x is again x y is 2 by 3 y then we have plus 3x x is x and y is 
2 by 3 y then we have minus y cube y is 2 by 3 y now solve it x whole cube will be x cube then we have minus this this 3 will be cancelled out by the 3 here okay so we'll remain with <coughs> 2 x square y okay then plus here again this 3 will cancel out the it should be power 2 here okay so this 3 will cancel out the 1 power of 3 from here so this will be 2 square is 4 this 2 square is 4 y square and also we have x so we can write this as 4x y square by 3 okay then we have minus we have 2 by 3 y whole cube 2 cube is 8 3 cube is 27 and y cube is y cube so the answer for this one is x cube minus 2x square y plus 4 x y square by 3 and minus 8 by 27 y cube so that's how you can solve the question number 6 we have done all the four part of the question number 6 moving to the next question we have question number 7 it says evaluate the following use using suitable identity now we are asked to, asked to find the cube of this given number without doing the multiplication by instead we'll use the identity here so let's write the answer number 7 part 1 we have 99 cube we can write 99 cube as 100 minus 1 cube now this is x minus y whole cube so we can use the identity so write using identity which one will we will use we'll use x minus y whole cube which is equals to x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y then plus 3xy square okay or we can also use its second form which is x cube minus y cube and minus 3xy into x minus y you can use either of the two form of this identity you will get the same answer in both cases okay so write that is this 100 minus 1 whole cube will be we will use the this second part of this identity so this is x cube x cube means x here is 1 and y sorry x is 100 and y is 1 so we have x cube that means 100 cube then we have minus y cube y is 1 that means 1 cube then we have minus 3 into x into y x is 100 y is 1 then we have x minus y x here is 100 and y is 1 so this will be 100 cube will be zeros will be now 6 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 then we have 1 cube is again 1 this 3 into 100 into 1 will be minus 300 into 100 minus 1 is 99 so this will be 99. after you solve it you will from here you will get 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 minus 1 in minus after multiply 300 with 99 you will get 2 9 7 0 0 and after solving it you will get the answer as 9 7 0 2 9 9 okay you can check the subtraction answer will be 9 7 0 2 9 9 moving to the next part we have 102 whole cube okay now we can write this one as 100 plus 2 whole cube so now we'll use the identity x plus y whole cube so right using identity 
x plus y whole cube which is equals to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y okay again I'm using the this form of the identity that is one hundred plus two whole cube will be equals to first at the place of x we have hundred and y is two so this is x cube that means hundred cube then we have plus y cube y here is two that means y two cube then we have plus three x into y x is hundred y is two then x plus y x is hundred y is two now solve this 100 cube will be 1 zeros will be now 6 times 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then 2 cube is 8 then plus this 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 100 is 600 and 100 plus 2 is 102 now solve this this will be 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 8 plus 6 into 100 600 into 102 will be first write the 20 then multiply 2 in 6 into 102 this will be 612 after adding all the number you will get the answer as 106128 so that's the solution of this question moving to the last part of this question that is part number 3 now we have 998 whole cube so we can write this one as 1000 minus 2 whole cube so okay so we can use our identity using identity x minus y whole cube which is equals to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y okay so I'll write that is you can do all this question better only when you have remember all the identities okay otherwise you won't be able to solve any question so first and the foremost thing is to learn and and remember all the identities okay so now this we have 1000 minus 2 whole cube will be now the x here is 1000 y is 2 so we have x cube that means 1000 cube then have minus y cube that means my 2 cube then we have minus 3 into x x is 1000 y is 2 then we have x minus y means 1000 minus 2 so this will be the cube of 1000 will be now the zeros will be 9 right 1 after this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then we have 2 cube is 8 this 3 into 2 is 6 6 into 1000 is 6000 then 1000 <coughs> minus 2 is 998 okay so write this 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 minus 8 then minus first write three zeros Two, three then multiply this 6 with this 998 6 into 8 is 48 so we'll write 8 here carry will be 4 6 into 9 is 54 54 plus 4 is 58 that means write it and, and carry will be 5 again 6 into 9 is 54 and plus 5 is 59 so we have 5988000 after solving this you will get the answer is 994011992 so that's the answer of the question number 7 okay now moving to the next question we have question number 8 now you're asked to factorize the following polynomials okay let's start with the first part we have question number 8 part 1 we have 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6a 
b square now you can if you look closer you can find out that this is in the form of x cube plus y cube plus 3 x square y and 3 x y square so we can write this as 8a whole 8a cube can be written as 2a whole cube b cube can be written as b whole cube and plus we have to write this as 3 into a square b a is here is 2a square and b is b then 3 into x sorry not x 2a into b square can you identify which identity we have used we have used the identity right using identity x plus y whole cube which is x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square so that is we can write this as x plus y x here is 2a y is b whole cube and then we have to write this as because we are asked to find the fine factor so we cannot write it in the power form so we'll write this as this a 2a plus b three times that is 2a plus b into 2a plus b into 2a plus b so these are the factor of this polynomials 2a plus b 2a plus b into 2a plus b okay now come to the next part we have 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b and plus 6ab square we can write again this one as 8a cube can be written as 2a whole cube then we have minus b cube can be written as b cube then we have this 12a square b can be written as 3 into a square a square here is 2a and into b b is b and mine plus 3x square y x is here is sorry x 3x y square that is 2a into b square so we'll write using algebraic identity which one we'll use now x minus y whole cube which is equals to x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3x y square that is We can write x here is 2a and y here is minus b whole cube again as as you are asked to write the factors so we'll write this three times 2a minus b 2a let me write it again it is 2a minus b 2a minus b 2a minus b okay so that's the part second now come to the next part which is part number three it is now 27 minus 125 a cube let's write this 27 minus 125 a cube minus 135 a plus 225 a cube not cube it's square okay our question is 27 minus 125 a cube minus 135 a plus 225 a square we can write this as this 27 can be written as 3 whole cube and we have minus this one minus 1 25 a cube can be written as 5 a whole cube then we have minus 
3a square b 3 a here is 3 square into b b is 5a then we have plus 3 a b square a b square so now we're using identity which one will we use here we will use x minus y whole cube which is given by x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3x y square okay so write that is we can write this as x here is 3 3 and y is minus 5 so we can write this as in the form of this identity that is 3 minus 5a whole cube on this can be written as 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a okay so that's the solution of this part coming to the next one we have part 4 which is we have 64 a cube minus 27 b cube minus 144 a square b then plus 108 a b square okay now solve this we can write this as 64 a cube can written as 4 a cube this 27 b cube can be written as 3 b whole cube then minus we can add this as 3 into a square a here is 4 a into b here is 3 b then plus 3 x y square x is 4 a and y is 3 b square so now write using identity we'll use again x minus y whole cube given by x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y minus not minus plus 3x y square so write that is x here is 4a and y is 3b x is 4a y is 3b so this can be written as 4a minus 3b whole cube and factors will be 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b okay now we have the last part of this question which is part 5 which it is 27p cube minus 100 by 216 minus 9 by 2 p square plus 1 by 4 p just an important part of this question so understand this carefully we can write this 27 p cube as 3 p cube okay then we have minus 1 by 216 can be written as 200 as you know 216 is the cube of 6 so we can write this as 1 by 6 whole cube then we can write this as 3 minus 3 x square p so this is minus 3 x square here is 3 x is 3 p square and y is 1 by 6 then we have plus 3 x y square 3 x is 3 p y square is 1 by 6 square okay so write using the identity we can write this as x minus y whole cube this will be x cube minus y cube minus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square so write that is we can write this as x here is 3 p and y is 1 by 6 so this will be 3 p minus 1 by 6 whole cube or this can be written as 3 p minus 1 by 6 
थ्री पी माइनस वन बाई सिक्स एंड थ्री पी माइनस वन बाय सिक्स सो दैट्स दी आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नंबर एट Now we come to the question number nine. We have already verified these two identities in the previous part. That is part number one of exercise two point five. These are the identity number. This is identity number nine, and this is identity number ten. So you can see the solution of these two from the part one of of this exercise two point five. Okay, I'm not going to do it again. Okay, I'm leaving it it for you so you can you can see it from the part one of the exercise two point five. It is a previous video of of this exercise. Now comes to the question number ten. We are asked to factorize the following. We have twenty seven y cube. Let me write it again. This is answer number ten, part one. We have twenty-seven y cube plus one twenty-five z cube. Okay. This will be solved using the what we have proved in the question number nine, part one. Okay. And this is our identity number ten. Sorry, nine. First, we can write this as. This twenty-seven y cube can be written as three y whole cube, and this one twenty-five z cube can be written as five z whole cube. Now we'll use the identity, right? Using identity, this is our identity number nine, which we have verified in the previous class or in previous session. That is part number one of exercise two point five. Okay, which is X cube plus y cube is given by x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square. You can remember we have plus here, so this will be x plus y. X square will be of plus, y square will be of, will be of plus, but this x minus y will be of minus. Okay, so this will be that is this three y whole cube. My plus five z whole cube can be written as x plus five. X is three y, y is five z. Then x square. X here is is three y. Then minus x into y. X is three y, y is five z, and plus y square. That means five z square. So this will be three y. Plus five z. This three y whole square will be nine y square. Then we have minus three into five will be fifteen y z. Then we have plus five z square will be twenty five z square. So that's the solution of this or the factor of this question. Okay. So we have got. Three y plus five and nine y square minus fifteen y z plus twenty five z square. Next we have sixty four m cube minus three forty three m cube. Firstly, this can be written as the sixty four m cube can be written as sixty four is the cube of four. So this will be four. This will be four m cube minus this three forty three is the cube of seven. So we can add this as seven n whole cube. So not right. Using identity, which identity will use here? Okay, using identity. We'll use x cube minus y cube is equals to. This is identity number ten, which is given by x minus y into x square 
plus x y plus y square now you can see we have minus here and here and all the term inside the second bracket are with plus sign so right that is this 4 m cube minus 7 n cube is equals to let me write it again here okay we have 4 m cube minus 7 n cube equals to we can this will be x minus y x is 4 m y is 7 n into x square x is again 4 m square my plus x y that is 4 m into 7 n then we have y square that means 7 n square so this will be 4 m minus 7 n into 4 m square will be 16 m square this 4 into 7 is 28 m n plus 7 square is 49 n square so the answer of this one is 4 m square sorry 4 m minus 7 n into 6 16 m square plus 28 m n plus 49 n square now we come to the next question which is the question number 11 we are asked to factorize this given polytomial let's write it answer number 11 we have 27 x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9 x y z this can be written as this 27 cube x cube can be written as 3 x whole cube y cube can be written as y whole cube z cube can be written as z whole cube then we can write this minus 9 x y z as 3 x y z x is 3 x y is y and z is z when you multiply these number you will again get the minus 9 x y z okay now you can see this in the form of identity number 8 okay this is in the form of identity number 8 that is right using identity using identity x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z this is given by equals to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square plus sorry minus x y minus y z minus z x so right that is that is we have this 3x whole cube plus y whole cube plus z whole cube minus 3 into 3x into y into z this will be equals to i'm writing it here x plus y plus z x is 3x y is y and z is z then x square that means 3x square plus y square that means y is y then z square z is z then we have minus x y x is 3x y is y then minus y z y is y and z is z then minus z into 3x okay this will be equals to 3x plus y plus z then we have 3x whole whole square will be 9x square then y square then z square then minus 
थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस वाई जेड एंड माइनस थ्री जेड एक्स सो दैट्स दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ द आंसर नंबर इलेवन यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी नंबर एट विच इज एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई जेड इज गिवन बाय एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस वाई जेड माइनस जेड एक्स ओके Now moving to the next question, we have question number twelve. You are asked to verify that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is minus three x y z is equals to one by two x plus y plus z equals to in equals to one by two x plus y plus z into x minus y whole square x minus z whole square x plus x minus z minus x whole square okay so we have to verify this so we'll start by taking the right hand side term and we will prove it to equals to the left hand side term so we'll try taking right hand side term we have 1 by 2 x plus y plus z and inside the bracket we have x minus y Whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square. This is a very important question. So understand this carefully. We have one by two x plus y plus z. Then now we will expand the identity identity x minus y whole square x minus y whole square and x minus y whole square, which is the identity number two. So this will be x square. I'm writing it directly now. Minus two x y plus y square. Then we have plus this y minus z whole square will be y square minus two y z plus z square. Then we have plus z minus x whole square will be z square minus two z x plus x square okay now write this again we have 1 by 2 x plus y plus z then now open all the brackets you will have it like this x square minus 2xy plus y square plus y square minus 2yz plus z square then plus z square minus 2zx plus x square now you can see we have x plus y plus z now here this x square and this x square will be twice of x square then we have y square and y square so this will be Twice of y square, and also we have z square and z square. That this will also be twice of z square. Then we have minus two x y minus two y z minus two z x. Okay. One by two into x plus y plus z. Now taking two common from the upper side, so it will be have two in. Outside that, so we have inside x square plus y square plus z square minus two x y minus two y z minus not two. This will be because we have taken two outside, so it will be minus x y minus y z minus z x, and these two will be cancelled by the two here. So we'll remain with. X plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x, and this is identity number eight, which is equals to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z, and that's what we were asked to prove here. Okay. We are asked to prove it equals to x plus x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus x y z. Okay. 
Now moving to the next question we have. <coughs> x plus 5 plus z equals to 0. So you have to show that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equals to 3xyz. So this means we have question number 13. We are given that if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then we have to prove that x square plus x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. So first we'll use we'll solve it using the identity number 8. So right, we have identity. We have this identity which is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equals to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx okay this is our identity number 8 so now as the question you are given that x plus y plus z is equals to 0. So you have as x plus y plus z is equals to 0. So in this above identity that means this term is given equals to 0. That means this is whole term is equal to 0 and 0 into this whole bracket term will be again result into 0. Okay that means we have 3 x sorry x cube plus y cube plus z cube equals to at the place of x plus y plus z will write 0 as it is given here okay then we have x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx and this x cube plus y cube plus z cube this 0 into this whole bracket term will again result into 0 okay we have to write a minus 3 x y z equals to 0 into this term okay here also we have to write minus 3 x y z equals to now this 0 into the whole term will again result into 0 so now shifting this term onto the right hand side this will be x cube plus y cube plus z cube equals to 3 x y z and that's the answer of this or the proof of the question number 13 that's what we were asked to prove that x cube plus y cube plus z is equals to plus 3 x y z if x plus y plus z is equals to 0 okay now moving to the next question we have without actually calculating the cube find the value of each of the following okay this is question number 14 We are given this minus 12 cube plus 7 cube plus 5 cube. This is based on the what we have proved in the x question number 13. So first we will check here. We have x plus 5 plus z. x here is minus 12, y is 7 and z is 5. So we have minus 12, this 5 plus 5 plus 7 and plus 7 will be plus 12 and result into 0 that means x plus y plus z is equal to 0 in this case so right therefore x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equals to 3 x y z that's what we have proved in the question number 13 that if x plus y plus z is equal to 0 that means x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equal to 3 x y z and that's what we have here we have x plus y plus z is equal to 0 so the x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equal to 3 x y z so write that is minus 12 cube plus 7 cube plus 
5 cube will be equals to 3x y z that means 3 into x is 12 minus 12 y is 7 and z is 5 now we have to multiply this number which is this 3 into 12 minus 12 is minus 36 and 7 into 5 is 35 now we have to multiply 36 into 35 you will get it as minus 1260 that's the answer of this part 1 of question number 14 now again we have second part which is 28 plus minus 15 and minus third minus 13 square we have 28 cube plus minus 15 cube plus minus 13 cube okay that's our part second of question number 14 a 28 cube plus minus 15 cube plus minus 13 cube so we'll write here x plus y plus z is equals to 28 minus 15 minus 13 or you can write first name as in the given form that is plus minus 15 plus minus 13 so this will be 28 minus 15 and minus 13 so this 15 and my 13 is 20 again minus 28 and this will result into 0 that is x plus y plus z is equals to 0 so right therefore x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equals to 3xyz so right that is that is 28 cube plus minus 15 cube plus minus 13 cube will be 3 into 28 into minus 15 into minus 13 this 3 into 28 will be let's multiply them this will be 3 into 8 is 4 24 we'll write 4 here carry will be 2 3 into 2 is 6 and 2 is 84 and this 13 into 15 will be yes minus minus will become plus and this will be first we'll multiply this 13 13 into 5 is 65 so it will write 5 here carry will be 6 and 13 into 1 is 1 and plus 6 is 19 so we have 195 and after multiplying these three you will get result as 16380 so that's the answer of this question okay i have to hope you have understood it now come to the last two question we have give possible expression for the length and the breadth of each of the following rectangle in which their areas are given by this polynomial okay again these are very simple question we'll write this as question answer number 15 part 1 we have area equals to 5a square minus 15a 20 35a plus 12 as it is given that it's a rectangle and the area of rectangle is given by length into breadth so right as we know area of rectangle is given by length into breadth that means we have got this polynomial by multiplying length into breadth and now we have to find those that length and the breadth as you are asked to express them okay so this can be done by fi finding the factors of this given polynomial okay so the polynomial that we have is 25 a square minus 35 a plus 
12 this can be written as this 25 years square can be written as 25 we can write this as we will find the factor of this polynomial by the method of splitting the middle term like we did in the exercise 2.4 okay the factor of this 35 will be so what we have to do first first multiply this two number this 25 into 12 will be 12 into 5 is 60 let me write 0 carry will be 6 and 12 into 2 is 24 plus 6 will be 300 so the factors here are so the product of these two number is 300 now you can we have to break them in such a way that multiplication should be 300 and addition or subtraction will be 35 so that number will be if we write them as 20 into 15 20 into 15 is again 300 and 20 plus 15 is 35 so this can be written as this is for the rough work not the fair work okay so write this we can write it as 25 a square this minus 35 can be written as minus 20 a and then minus 15 a both will be of minus because the sum has to be with minus sign okay then we have plus 12 so this will be so we have let me raise it it's creating problem okay now we'll take the 5a common from here 5 taking 5a common what remain inside is 5a minus 4 from here also we'll take the 3 common so we'll remain with 5a plus not plus minus 4 so now taking this 5a minus 4 common will we have 5a minus 4 taking common what remain is 5a minus 3 okay now these are the factor of this given polynomial 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 3 now we have to write the possible expression for length and the breadth as we know in a rectangle the longer quantity represent the longer length uh, number or the value represent the length and the smaller number will represent the breadth so we have both side 5a and 5a this time 5a minus 4 and here we have 5a minus 3 so which one will be greater because 5a are that means both are equal we have subtracting only 3 here so this one is the length and this one is the breadth so we can write this as therefore the possible expression for length and breadth will be therefore possible expression for length and breadth will be length we have mentioned length for so length is 5a minus 3 and breadth is 5a minus 4 okay this is expression so moving to the next part we have now the area is given by 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12 okay so again we write as we know that area of rectangle is given by length into breadth okay so that means this polynomial is representing the product of length and breadth so this will be 35 y square plus 13 y minus 
minus 12 now again we have to find the factor of this polynomial by using the method of splitting the middle term okay so I'm doing the rough work here so th first we have to multiply this first number in the last number so we have 35 into 12 35 into 12 will be, will be 35 into 5 is 60 that means write 0 carry will be 6 30, and 12 into 3 is 36 so this will be 240 sorry 420 now we have to break this in such a way that product of the number should be again 420 and the sum should be sum or subtraction will be 13 those numbers are we have 28 minus 15 28 minus 15 is again 13 and 28 into 15 is 420 okay so we can write this as 35 y square plus 28 y minus 15 y minus 12 or this will be now we'll take the uh, 7 y common so after taking 7 y common will remain with 5 y plus 4 from here we'll take 3 minus 3 common so we'll remain with 5 y plus 4 now we'll take 5 y plus 4 common so we'll remain with 7 y minus 3 okay so now we have to identify which one will be greater number so this is the 5 time of y and this is the 7 time of y so possibly this number will be the bigger so this is representing the length so you can write the post therefore possible expressions for length and breadth will be length is 7y minus 3 and breadth is 5y plus 4 okay that's the solution of the question number 15 now let's come to the last question of this exercise we have what are the possible expression for the dimension of the cuboid whose volume are given below so we are given the volume of a cuboid and the volume of the cuboid is given by the formula which is length into breadth into height okay let's write its answer 16 part 1 volume is given by 3x square minus 12x so right as we know volume of cuboid is equals to length into breadth into height so this means this is a product of the length into breadth into height so this will be this 3x square minus 12x can be written as We can take 3x common so what remain is inside is x minus 4 okay so after taking 3x common what remains are 3x minus 4 so there are total three expressions which are 3 3 into x into x minus 4 and these are representing the length breadth and the height but now as we don't know the value of x can you identify which one will be the length breadth or the height so write the possible expression length 
stretch and height of cuboid are 3 comma x and x minus 4 units okay in here also you have to write units okay now come to the last part of this exercise in the chapter we have 12 k y square plus 8 k y minus 20 k we have 12 k y square plus 8 k y minus 20 k okay. this time also write as we know the volume of cuboid is given by length into breadth into height we have 12 k y square plus 8 k y minus 20 k so first we'll take common from this polynomial we can take common Four k. So what remain inside is three y square plus two y minus five. Now we'll find the factor of this polynomial by again the method of splitting the middle term. So we have three into five is fifteen. So the factor of this will be three y square plus five y minus three y. Okay then we have minus 5 why so we can first we have to multiply these two number so this will be 3 into 5 will be 15 and these are again the factor 3 minus 5 will give us 2 okay so this will be 4k now we'll take mm, y common so what remain inside is 3y plus 5 and from here we will take minus 1 common so what remain inside is 3y plus 5 now we will take first write 4k now we will take 3y plus 5 common what remain inside is 5 minus 1 so we have four x 3 expression now 4k into 3y plus 5 into y minus 1 so these are the two separate numbers so this has to be a third number so these are the possible value for length breadth and height therefore possible expressions of length breadth and height of polynomial of cuboid is 4k comma 3y plus 5 comma y minus 1 unit right cuboid here So that's the answer of this question number 16. So now we have fin finished all the question of exercise 2.5 and also we have finished the chapter number 2 which is the polynomials. Okay. So now what you have to do is revise. First thing is you have to learn and by heart all the identities, all the 10 identities. Without the identity you cannot solve any question. So first thing is to learn and memorize all the identities then you have to practice all the question multiple times because these all the question in this exercise are very very important you will have definitely some question from this exercise so practice them very well okay so that's it for today thanks for joining here